Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. How Ministry of Power smuggled seven billion into his account without approval from Senate. Nigerians, you they watch him, they go. That is the country we are all in. There is no accountability. There is nobody who is making sure things are done in order as it should be. Ministry of Power, without approval from the Senate, you know, they will still show, at least they will still talk about the exorbitant pr prices. Remember the other day we presented to you that one ministry was using, was it 13 million to buy pencils and the other one to do photocopy? I mean, so that aside, you will still hear about the ridiculous prices they place on things. It only passes, you know, because it's Nigeria, of course. Nigeria, they, they know what they do, you know, it will just come out. It's nowadays you are hearing about those things. So in those days, <clears throat> the one they do is called worse. Anyway, Ministry of Power collected seven billion and put into the account. No approval, nobody knew about it. Where how did they get the money? Only God knows. That's the country you are in. Oh. Let's get straight on so you can understand all that is going on. How money keep missing, lions and tigers, snake and the monkey eating, swallowing money, you know, a lot. Let's understand. The Senate has raised the alarm on how the Ministry of Power smuggled over 7 billion <laughs> into its ministry budget without an approval from the National Assembly. The Senate has observed that there was no evidence that such money was budgeted for in respect of the hydropower transmission project it either it's in either the 2014 or 2015 fiscal year senator matthew the people democratic party pdp edo state edo south led senate committee on public accounts is raising the alarm on how the ministry spent such amount of money without getting approval from the National Assembly in line with the law. The committee is relaying on the query raised by the Office of the Audit General of the Federation in 2015 report and brought it for probe and subsequent presentation to the Senate at preliminary. Senator Matthew led committee had, however, expressed shock on how seven billion could appear in the ministry's account when in 2015 budget was not passed and the account for 2014 had already closed at the time. The query reads, the amount, the sum of seven billion was received by the Ministry of Power in January 2015. It shows, it showed in the account, this fund was spent into four commercial banks under the account's name Hydropower Transmission Project. The project for 2015 was not passed as at the time. This money was received by the ministry in January 2015, while the account for the year 2014 has already closed as at 31st December 2014. It was also observed that there was no evidence that such money budget was budgeted for in respect of the hydropower transmission project in either 2014 or 2015. The Ministry Appreciated Act is very worrisome, but the Minister of Power, in a written response, said the federal government released the money total amount under the Special Intervention Fund for the Ministry for the Funding of Hydropower Project. The fund was released in special wa warrant and therefore was outside of the ministry's approved budget. The Office of the Accountant General of the Federation approved project account for the fund in four different banks. The fund was transferred to Diamond Bank, two billion, Heritage Bank, two billion, Access Bank, two billion, Wema Bank, one billion. It was gathered that the money was approved by the then president as a loan for the evacuation of the 40 MW generated 
from the hydropower station. The chairman of the committee, Senator Matthew, however, further demanded more documents to verify whether the money was appropriately utilized for the claim by the minister in the said project. So this is how money flies, yes? So money growings in Nigeria, they fly. They, I mean, you've not seen money flying, but in Nigeria, they do fly. If you want to experience money flying, please come. Where you can sit down and a snake can come out from the bush and start swallowing bags of money. Okay? It happens in Nigeria. If you don't know, yeah, it's a, it's a real life reality. Then we can have like monkeys, okay? Monkeys can come and take money and go, you know? A snake can come and swallow money. These are things that happen. You don't know about possibilities. Ah, <laughs> in Nigeria, we, so long as it has to do with money, all things are possible. Oh. You will see the blind, you know, turn into money. Uh, you don't understand. I'm just trying to be hilarious, but I mean, it's the re reality of what is on ground in our country. You, it's reality of the state of what is on ground in our country. We everybody, you know, are so desperate. You know, people go to politics with an, with an idea already set mind to dupe in fact when they get there it's already set so where do i start from how do we start spending the money what do we do next do you understand so when you look at what is really going on in the country you are shocked to your bones saying ah, ah what is really happening how can we can we get out of this where do we go from here you know people come into politics with a set mind saying you know what eh let's finish the money national cake if we continue with that kind of mindset we cannot improve our nation there is no way there's no way education will be attended to you see those roads that is full any headsmen they stay now to try to you know uh, uh, kidnap people there is no way those roads can be fixed in the first place our government are not even ready to fix them let's be very candid they don't want to fix them those roads so even the one that now you not we now have like let's say we now have a good government a good government in place that want to work where will you have the money when you have bad eggs all around you you move they say ah this one eh, what do you want to now they block our show you know those kind of talks you know why overseas it's not because they are not greedy oh. greed is in the human dna okay it's you that will say i will not be greedy and you will choose the right choice but you know why People cannot carry out those kind of activity. There is what we call audits. Everybody is being put under the microscope. Your department, your ministry is being washed. When do we put that? When are we going to put those things in order in Nigeria? Anyway, guys, leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.